Hello friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about how to write a book because uh, I recently uh, finished writing a book and uh, let me just share with you this uh, book. How does it look? It's still in word format. I haven't uh, you know, published it yet, but it will be published on Amazon. So it's on uh, MLM or multi-level marketing or network marketing. So this is the title of the book. And, and I just wanted to show you the you know, table of content and some forward and about, about myself and uh, you know, the introduction. So it has, so do you see that it has got some pictures as well of, uh, you know, different chapters have kind of a, some inspirational quotes from different famous people so just to give you an idea about how it looks okay so when it will be available uh, you know online and uh, you know that means on kindle it would be available and also on paperback format it will be available so you will have uh, the opportunity as well to get hold of a copy of the book if you want to so let me just show you then and this book is how many pages i can see 102 pages okay so not a lot of uh, pages but uh, i think that uh, when it's uh, this book is yet to be converted into another format where it will be possible for um, for me to upload it onto amazon so and then it may be a bit more pages but let's discuss about how do you um put a book together because there are a so, lot of things uh, goes behind it or whatever is my learning or whatever i i learned uh, in in the process of writing this is my first book and uh, definitely a lot of new books or other books are to be followed as well after this but let me just show you how to write a book just like the way you just saw it so th these are the steps let me just share with you uh so the steps are as below okay and uh, let me just image okay so first is uh, let's discuss about uh, these uh, you know um i think they are how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven points i guess okay so first is uh, the idea so that means uh, what is that you are going to write about okay so you have to be crystal clear on that so it's just like the way you saw that uh, this book which i wrote and it's yet, uh, you know it's to be published uh, you know this uh, this week as well it's um, about uh, you know my own learning or i am uh, one of my businesses is network marketing and uh, which is also called mlm so multi level marketing and i am uh, the book is about you know that okay, how somebody can start the business and then grow it. So that's all the idea is about. It's it's my own knowledge and information what I have gathered uh, during this course of uh, you know few years in the business. So that is what I have uh, you know put together in a in a book. Okay, so you have to be very clear on what is that you know. All of us have a lot of ideas. We know a lot of things. And if you want to take that idea out and write it, so that becomes a book. Okay. Now, when you are starting, starting to write that book, I, I remember when I started writing this book, uh, I underestimated hugely about the time what uh, you know it would uh, take for me to write this book. So it's very important. Uh, you know, probably the first book you know may take uh, some uh, longer time, but it in my case. I was expecting that in in a week's time and two weeks time I will be done, but it took me more than I think uh, two months or you know three months. It's going to be three months. So it it does take some time. So allow yourself uh, you know some time as well because if you are writing this book, not you know that means it's not a full time thing. Your other activities you are doing in between it does take time because it uh, you know you need a quiet time to. Um, think about your your idea and to put it uh, put it down and uh, so that 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 requires a bit of uh, you know the planning as well so let's be uh, the first thing is what is your idea what is that you are going to write about okay after that after that is clear and out of the way next is you know what is that you know comes to your mind what are the things what you are going to write about that uh, you know 
um, that thing, for example, in this case of me and uh, writing about a business opportunity or a business, how it has been built. Now, jotting down, writing down what are, uh, you know, um, what are the points I'm going to cover in that book, okay? So those are going to become, you know, the different uh, kind of a chapters, if not chapters, uh, under different chapters, those are will be different uh, things what I'll be discussing within that chapter. So that's very, very important that you jot it down. You, know, you don't have to be very descriptive. Or this is not something you have to just, uh, you know, or write in a formal way in a word document with uh, commas and uh, you know full stop and all you're just jotting down not not writing down but jotting down okay so then after you jot down you will have a phase you know or more than a, more than a phase uh, um you know a sort of uh, of content that means what exactly you are going to write so when you scribble it you start to write it so that means from your mind uh, things are coming out and you are putting it in a uh, on a on a piece of paper Okay, so after you put it down, uh, everything what what is uh, that you wanted to discuss? So in that book, then you have to now combine together. What does that mean? So combining together means uh, you know when you are jotting down your ideas, these ideas of what exactly you are going to cover. So those ideas uh, may not cover, may not come to your mind sequentially. Okay. Sequentially means, uh, that means it won't come like, okay, this is what I'm going to cover in the chapter one, this is actually chapter two, no. So it, so when you are just, this is a brainstorming exercise where everything what you are going to cover, it comes out and you are just writing it out in a piece of paper and that becomes your kind of a, you know, fuel or a raw material for your, for your business, okay, oh, sorry, for your book, okay. Then, okay, after you combine, okay, uh, uh, the items, uh, you know, uh, so after you put everything down, what exactly you are going to cover, so you are going to combine the items together. So that means whatever are the identical items you are going to cover, identical means similar. Okay, these are relating to one specific thing. Okay, with a broader thing, what you'll be discussing. So that means just visualize yourself. Okay, that you are going to write under one chapter. These are the three things you'll be writing about because these are all related to that specific thing. Okay, so you put it down, put it, uh, you know, combine it together. So that means if you um, have jotted down, let's say, twenty points. Okay, you are going to cover in your book. So then let's say it may be number two, number uh, eight, and uh, number 17 may be uh, put, uh, you know, put together. It, ha it has to be put together to uh, become or to be a part of uh, a chapter, okay? So that's, that is, uh, you know, the combining, you know, the, the uh, things together. That's another step. Next is the sequencing the item. So that means once you combine it together, okay, okay. So that means it may be three point, these three things, uh, you know, one uh, put together as, uh, as one chapter and another three, four things is uh, going to be another chapter. Now the chapter, what you are now discussing in your mind that chapter is nothing but a similar items, uh, put together, okay, or combined together, or clubbed together, that becomes a chapter, okay. So once you come up with these chapters, uh, then you just have to sequence it. That means, okay, what is going to be the first chapter, okay, so that means what is that I am going to discuss in the first so that, uh, you know, the other, the next thing can follow the sequence, okay, Those, because every, um, every book is uh, has a story or has a sequence. So you have to come up with that sequence of chapter one, then the next chapter, what is that going to be covered in the chapter two. So that's how you are uh, framing, um, you know, your chapter by chapter, what is that you are going to cover, okay? So now, uh, you know, on a piece of paper, now uh, you are now putting together kind of a book is in, in one, uh, you know, one page. Okay, so on a entire concept of the book is now on a one page document. Okay, so you have put it together, you have you have come up with all the all your ideas, and you have combined it, and you are sequenced it. Then is the time for you to start writing. But before you write, so this is my biggest learning, and I want you not to. I don't want you to you know do that same mistake or commit that mistake. Is 
you have to set a deadline for each chapter. Okay, so what does that mean? So that means every chapter you have to set a deadline. So it's kind of a do or die thing. Okay, by this date, by you know, uh, you know, I have to finish this chapter. Okay. Now, when you say set a deadline, it's very important that you also give yourself the time because if you, you know, do not allow yourself that, you know, free or focused attention to write this book, uh, you know, then you may not be able to meet your deadline. It's quite important for you to set the deadline and also to plan your timing accordingly so that you have uh, you know, complete focus on, on your activity and you are not disturbed during that, during that time, you are not doing anything else, okay? Because what I have seen that once you, dis, uh, you are disturbed or you are getting distracted and doing something else, then, you know, to come back again to that flow or what, whatever is in your mind to write, it becomes really difficult, okay? You may not get it. And what I have seen that sometimes also, when I'm writing, you know, let's say I've written a chair, written a paragraph, and then something, you know, I got distracted or I had to attend certain things, and I come back again, that flow is uh, gone. So that means all the thoughts, what was behind, uh, you know, um, and that whatever I was reading, uh, writing that time, so that is all lost. So it's very, very important that, you know, you give it undivided attention when you're writing, when you're writing and just uh, you know lock yourself uh, somewhere and just give yourself complete attention to write and finish uh, each and every chapter um, you know uh, within a specific deadline what you have given yourself okay then you start writing okay now starting the writing and um, you know how do you write okay again a google document is really good because you can get the access to the Google document is free. And also you can, it's it's in cloud. That means you can, you have access to Google document anywhere you go, okay? Um, so that means you, if you are writing it at home, then suddenly you are, you are um, shopping somewhere, you know, um, or you are doing certain activities and come back and uh, then you suddenly, you know, one idea came in, okay, I need to include that in my book. So that means you can from your, uh, you know, mobile phone itself, you know, on on your, uh, you know, sort of while you are shopping, even you can type it down or you can jot it down or you can even write a sentence which you think that, uh, you know, you after coming back home, then you have to capture that properly. So you could do that. So that means Google document is good, good one, but you can even go for MS Word, Microsoft Word as well. Or if you are a Mac user, then you can use Mac Pages, which is also, you know, um, which is free as well. It comes with uh, Mac uh, iOS. So now you know that, uh, you know, you have started your journey. You have started to write your book. So very, very important that when you are writing the book, you're thinking, okay, revisiting and writing it again or uh, doing a spell, spell check and, uh, you know, whether grammatically correct or not. I would suggest that, uh, you know, you just finish it, okay? All, you know, let's say example, one chapter, you want to just finish it, just let's finish it. And then you can go back. Or I would rather suggest that finish that whole book itself and then go back and read it, uh, you know, have a read uh, of the entire document once and then get it spell checked. And uh, I know Grammarly, I, you know, I have used Grammarly. So that's a very good, very helpful, application which uh, you know gives you a lot of suggestions uh, you know it's uh, you know, it's, it's a artificial intelligence ai based uh, so you know um, uh, document corrector okay so it, it checks your documents uh, you know, based on you know it gives you suggestions on grammatical error if there is any so then you can you can correct it as well it gives you all those suggestions okay so grammarly and spell check definitely is uh, i would suggest and uh, spell check is uh, you know uh, ms word or mac uh, you know you will have it anyway but uh, on top of that you know you can use grammarly grammarly has got a free service as well basic you can you can get it installed on your microsoft on top of your ms word as well and you can get it checked or you can go to grammarly it's online service as well you can upload the document and it also checks um, you know, if, if you want to go for a premium service, you can you can pay for the premium for a month or so to you know get advanced features of Grammarly. If not the basic features as well, the free of cost as well, you can you can get 
that as well okay and get it checked uh, get your document checked through the grammarly is free um uh, application okay now next thing is a proofreading okay so after you do the corrections uh, you know the basic grammar corrections spelling corrections then is the time for you to get it proofread so uh proofreading is uh, you know somebody who you can ask your friends or relatives or uh, anyone who is uh, good in English, uh, you know, language, if you're writing this book in English, then English language, uh, you know, uh, whoever you think that uh, has some so knowledge and literature is, is good. So you can get this document proofread by that person. Okay. Uh, so if you can get it uh, proofread by uh, two people, that's better as well. Okay. So proofreading is something which is very extremely essential because as a writer, when you are writing things, then you uh, do not have a kind of, a, you know, um, overall view or a picture of the entire, entire document. So because you are the one who wrote it, so you may not be able to identify certain things uh, which may not make sense, a sentence may not make sense, but to you it makes sense, but for somebody else reading it may not make sense. So those are uh, you know, the things which, uh, you know, on a proofreading, it, it can be detected, okay? So then um, proofreading as well, you can hire people for proofreading. For example, you can go to fiverr.com or upwork.com, freelancer.com. These are some of the major you know, sort of uh, websites where you can hire people to um, you know, do the proofreading. So they will charge you a certain amount based on the number of words your document has. Um, but this is worth it, okay? Because it definitely has to be proofread, okay? Then after that is, uh, you know, the name, okay? So you have to come up with a nice catchy name so that people will be excited about reading your book. They'll be looking forward to open that book or order that book. So you have to come up with a catchy name for that book. So that definitely that name has to be related to what you have written. But again, you can do a bit of a keyword research as well to find out what uh, in that field, whatever you are writing about. So what kind of uh, things people are looking for? Okay, what is the keyword? Okay, people are looking for, you can Google it and uh, you know you can find out as well uh, you know um, what are the different um, you know um, sort of related words people look for while um, they are searching for that uh, anything any information uh, specific to that field of writing whatever you have written okay so now you have come up with a good name then the next thing is a uh, designing the book cover book cover is an extremely important uh, document as well um, or i won't say document but yes it is uh, you know it has to be catchy the book cover has to be you know appealing so that people will be looking forward to um, you know order it or read uh, so it has to you know uh, that's what they you know uh, say that don't judge a book by its cover um, but cover does you know have a huge impact on you know um, people's uh, sort of a temptation to you know, order or read that book or not to be so that has to be cover and the name has to be a bit catchy so how do you get uh, the uh, book uh, cover design again you know it is uh, there are different uh, book cover sizes there and you may have some ideas about the book cover as well. You can give ideas um, to or you can hire people, uh, you know, from these uh, three websites. There are so many other websites as well, but these are kind of a bigger ones. So you can hire people as well to design the book cover for you. Okay, You can give them your ideas or even they design, they can design it for you as well taking the input from you about the content of the books and all, okay? So that is kind of a, you know, hands-off approach where you are just uh, taking the service or of a professional who has designed quite a lot of books. So you can, you can check the reviews of for different, uh, different uh, uh, consultants uh, or different freelancers who, are, who have worked or who, who are providing this uh, service of, uh, you know, designing the book cover and you can hire them based on uh, i would suggest that two to three kind of uh, you know 
or book cover uh, designs uh, you know if uh, you have um, you can choose one of them you know so you can hire probably two or three so these are not very expensive as well uh, you know if you are giving them the ideas of how to how to do it what are the things to capture it may not be uh, very expensive but there are expensive uh, ones as well so it all depends on you know you what's your budget and if you want to do it yourself as well you could do that as well you know there is a website like canva.com if you go a uh, free account you can create a free and free account and you can also they uh, provide a service canva is an online service for designing you know graphics designing so uh, it doesn't require any sort of a high level skill set uh, you know um, for for you to use canva so anyone can use it but it's 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 something you can also consider if you are thinking of designing it yourself because you have some ideas or you have seen some other book covers and you are inspired by that and you think that you have a bit of a creative side of uh, yourself there and you want to put it in practice so you could do that as well and the last person on the list is self published on amazon okay what does that self publish mean like, um, earlier before amazon era you know there you know if you Mm, you have a book you want to write a book uh, the big thing was uh, to publish that book so that means you have to go and uh, you know talk to a bunch of uh, publishers and uh, you have to convince them they will interview you and you have to convince them why your book is so good and why they will invest and publish your book and uh, so that was kind of a you know not not easy task for each and every one you know it has to be uh, convincing and you have to be a good good author and if you are well known then probably you know it's easy for you but if you are a new uh, or, a, or a beginner like like me this is my first book uh, there was no chance for me to convince any any publisher uh, you know out there but with amazon um, coming in picture and uh, they as you know amazon started uh, the business of amazon started uh, you know with the selling books, they were only books were available in Amazon. So that means Jeff Bezos, uh, the founder of Amazon, he's a sort of uh, his idea was uh, you know the books are uh, you know uh, providing people with the knowledge. That's what he he was a big fan of. And then they started selling everything and it become a it become the A to Z um, of everything they, they they sell now. But uh, Amazon now provides uh, you know, self-publishing, okay? They call it KDP. If you go to kdp.amazon, then you will find more about uh, how you can self-publish. What is self-publish? That means you publish it uh, yourself. You know, nobody, uh, you don't, you are not looking for anybody else with the help of Amazon. What does that mean? How does that work? But it's very simple. You just upload your, um, the content of the book, uh, you know, uh, online, to this uh, kdp.amazon.com as you see here is step by step you know you you can go there create, you can give your uh, sort of a book title and uh, you know upload your picture uh, cover uh, picture and your content as well so you can you can do that or and you, and you can choose the book size as well what size of book you want to, to uh, publish and based on that, what happens is Amazon does not print. Earlier practice was gone are the days when you know uh, the 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 publisher has to just print it, uh, thinking that they will uh, you know, sell X number of books. Um, and if they don't sell, that's a loss. Or you know, if they sell, then they, they know that it's a good demand. They they, they print more. But here with the self publishing with Amazon, Amazon has its own printers. Okay, it's kind of a very advanced printers where as soon as you get an order or you know your book got an order, then it, it gets passed on because get an order means you can only sell it on Amazon if you are, you know, um, if you want to go for Amazon's ISBN, International Standard Book Number. Okay, so uh, then, you know, you can only sell it on Amazon and Amazon just publish it or they, they print it for you. Okay whenever the order comes. So it's kind of a print on demand uh, kind of a thing where uh, when uh, the order comes, Amazon prints it and sends it uh, to, uh, on your behalf to your customer. And uh, you know they charge a certain commission and uh, they pay you back around 70% of uh, you know, the royalty. Okay, so that's, that's pretty cool. That's, re that's really good, okay. Um, but uh, this is it. So you can self-publish with Amazon or if you do not want to publish it on Amazon because uh, you know uh, you want to 
well along with amazon you can sell it in uh, you know other platforms as well uh, or you want to sell it yourself uh, you know uh, on uh, you know your own website or something like that you could do that as well but you have to remember about the isbn you have to buy your own isbn which cost around i think 100 100 dollars or something uh, for you to buy one isbn but this is not the scope of sell, uh, you know this uh, this video of how to self publish on amazon this is about how to write a book on amazon and then how to publish it okay but definitely i will be making another video on uh, how exactly you know you just publish it on Amazon? That will be another video which will be detailed one of how do you publish it on Amazon. But this is more about writing and how do you put the ideas together and then get it published. Yeah. So with that, uh, I am done and uh, hope it made some sense to you. Hope you learn now a few bits or whatever I have learned during this process of uh, you know writing a book. And happy writing, guys! Start writing. Uh, you know your your mind, whatever I know is there. So you should put it out there. And uh, you know, that may be a good sort of a way you can, if you are a coach or a mentor, uh, you know, then you can have this book, uh, you know, which uh, writing a book gives you a lot of credibility whereby you can also, uh, you know, attract a lot of customers uh, or clients of yours for your coaching and consulting business as well, okay? So with that, I am done and uh, I am Som, Som Prakash. I am also a business coach and a consultant. I help uh, people um, who are looking for an opportunity to you know, learn, to, to grow, to have a business of their own. Uh, you, know, uh, you can subscribe to this channel and it is on YouTube and also I'll be posting on the Facebook. So everywhere you, know, you will see this, but uh, make sure you subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel and uh, you know hit that like button so that you will get the content as i publish it okay with that over and out until the next video